Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy-building podcast. This is day 624 of our trek, and it is time for our Mind Shift Monday series. The more I observe people, the more I consider and ponder creating a living legacy, the more I am convinced that life turns out exactly as we think it will. Your mind is powerful, and how you think will direct you toward a life of peace and success, or a life of unrest, drama, and continual hardship. As a human, you are designed to be God's image bearer, but He has given you a free will. As a human, you have the tremendous capacity to rationalize your behavior and actions and then convince yourself that it is truth based on what you allow yourself to think. It is easy to get stuck in the mindset that your current circumstances cannot be changed. This is not true, but you must understand this fundamental principle. In order to change your life, you must change how you think and what you think about. Each week, our focus on our MindShift Monday podcast and journal will be to provide you with practical ways to make a mind shift to a rich and satisfying life. Come along with us each Monday as we take our trek on the trails that will direct you to this destination. Of course, it is your responsibility to hike and complete the trails needed to make your mind shift. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. The two young hawks that were born this year are starting to venture out of their nest onto the adjoining limbs. They appear to be nearly full size, but are not quite ready to fly yet. It will not be too many more weeks before they set out on the life of their own. It has been enjoyable to have this observation deck from our second story office windows into their world. Our granddaughter Hazel's leukemia treatments continue to go well, and her blood test results are improving each week. The oncology team is very pleased with her progress, and we are grateful to God for their wisdom and to live in a time where Hazel can be treated effectively. When this episode is originally released, I will be back in Arizona for a week working with our friends and partners Charles and Allison Meekham on our construction project there. We have finished up Phase 1 of our Mesa project and are scheduled to begin Phase 2 on or before September 1st. In the interim, we have several smaller projects that are scheduled for the summer months that will keep us very busy. As we continue to look at the crucial subject of mind shift on our trek for today, one of the areas that is vitally important is our integrity. It is very easy to fool ourselves into thinking that what we say is the same as what our actions are. Unfortunately, this is not always the case. How we act or react to a situation truly reveals how we think at our very core. The true test of your integrity is, do your actions and reactions mirror your speech? So on our trek for today, we desire to reach the point of, walk your talk. How we really think about others will show up in how we treat them. If you find yourself treating others harshly and without a loving spirit, then it is time for a mind shift on how you think. Jesus taught us this lesson in Matthew chapter 5, verses 43 through 48. You have heard the law that says, Love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say, love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. In that way, you will be acting as true children of your Father in heaven. For he gives his sunlight to both the evil and the good, and he sends rain on the just and unjust alike. If you love only those who love you, what reward is there in that? Even corrupt tax collectors do that much. If you are kind only to your friends, how are you different from anyone else? Even the pagans do that. But you are to be perfect, even as your Father in heaven is perfect. One of the fundamental mind shifts that you must make in your thinking is how you view others that do not like you. Jesus' uncommon response to everyday problems stem from the way he thought about others. In my 60 plus years of life, I have observed that you are not known for how you act when you are in control of life situations, but how you react when your life is out of control. How do you react when you are criticized? There is always someone who will criticize others as if they were getting paid to do so. You probably have been hurt by someone providing what they thought was constructive criticism. Most people think that it's constructive criticism when they criticize others, but it's destructive criticism when others criticize them. Whether criticism is unjust or just, You will show your true thinking on how you react and respond to criticisms leveled against you. It has been said that the best way to lose an enemy is to treat them as you would a friend. You must realize that there are times that we all make errors in judgment and display our shortcomings. Just like in your relationship with God, you don't need justice but mercy. In your relationship with others, you should be quick to give mercy and slow to demand justice. In order to achieve this, you must have a mind shift by changing the way you think. When you are tempted to react in a manner that is not Christ-like, you need to consider the following three thoughts. First, realize that everyone you meet is fighting a battle that you know nothing about. 
You really don't know what others might be going through on a daily basis. Perhaps there is some loss, hurt, or even physical crisis that they're going through. Their actions and reactions towards you may be stemming from something completely different, and you are just the unfortunate recipient of their outward reactions from an inward hurt. The second is reacting in a positive, reassuring manner will produce better results. Even when you feel like lashing out negatively, try to put a positive, reassuring spin on the situation. If you are positive in a negative situation, it will usually be diffused, or at least it won't accelerate into a larger problem. And third, there is no better way to show that you are a Christ follower than how you react in negative situations. As a Christ follower, you should live a life displaying the fruits of the Spirit in your life at all times. These are listed in Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23, which reads, But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. In order for this to become a reality, it requires a change in the way you think, so that these attributes are integrated into the very fabric of your life. Then you will walk your talk because you will not be reacting to the current issues that may be confronting you. As a practical example, if someone is hungry and becomes irritable towards you, give them a piece of bread and butter. That would be showing kindness to them. And why not take it one step further and put some jam on that bread and show them loving kindness? That is taking the right action. That is walking your talk. And with these thoughts in mind, we will conclude our trek for today and let us ponder how we may walk our talk in every situation of life. In order to do so, you must have a mind shift by allowing God to continue to change the way you think. It is then that you'll live the rich and satisfying life that is available to each of us. Next week, we will continue our trek on Mind Shift Monday. On tomorrow's trek, we will explore another wisdom quote. This three-minute wisdom supplement will assist you on becoming healthy, wealthy, and wise each day. And thank you for joining me on this trek that we call life. Encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past daily treks or read the daily journal, they are available at wisdom-trek.com. You can also subscribe to iTunes or Google Play so that each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor. But most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, let to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain. Reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.